Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little get ready with me and I also have a really nice giveaway for you guys which I can't wait to talk about but we'll jump straight into it and in today's video I'm actually going to be doing my hair. I speak English in the um, so I'm first going to be using this GHD hairbrush and just brushing my hair through starting from the ends going up. Always do that when your, your hair is wet especially. And now I'm using this Lee Stafford leave-in conditioner oil, it's part of the Coco Loco range and this stuff is actually really really nice and it helps to kind of detangle my hair but it doesn't leave my hair greasy whatsoever, it just adds that extra hydration because I don't apply conditioner in the shower. Now on to the exciting part, I'm going to be using this Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. It's super big, I was it was so unexpected but I was recently sent this to try out and I thought I'd try it out in today's video and I absolutely loved it. I wasn't expecting such a massive brush and I am so happy it does come like that, it's the size of my head literally. This is kind of like a hair dryer but a brush at the same time. It has three heat settings and you just twist it at the end knob kind of like this and you just literally brush your hair with it as normal but it dries your hair at the same time and my hair was drenched and this managed to dry my hair and make it literally look like a Cheryl Cole blowout from the hairdresser less in less than 30 minutes and I have hair all the way to my butt like I'm not even joking and for that to work in less than 30 minutes is just so so good Um, this does have like iconic technology if that's how you say it it gives like fast silky smooth shiny results it also has like a ceramic coating on the brush so it helps to reduce heat damage on the hair it's tangle free combination bristles um, in the brush itself helps for detangling improved volume and control and it's super lightweight it's not actually heavy whatsoever and it has this um, knob at the end this oval knob which you can hold to because it's not hot it's actually a cool bit as well so let's say you want to like grab the end like I'm doing right now you can do because it's not hot at all so guys this is available from Boots and Amazon just to let you know and I will leave it a link to it in the info box but I'm actually holding a little giveaway with Revlon and we are giving away three of these hair dryers so three of you can win one of these it's so so good and I'm so happy we're holding this giveaway and all you have to do is literally comment in the comments below comment whatever literally and also if you want to gain an extra entry make sure to follow me on Instagram and leave your Instagram um, username in your comment as well so I can check and also you have to make sure that you're subscribed to me because I will check guys I will <laughs> but yeah I'm so excited three of you can win this um give uh, this hairbrush dryer kind of thing I absolutely love it my mum loves it um and it's just so good I've tried so many of these kind of brush hair dryers in the past and it never worked for me because of my long hair but this was so convenient I can't even tell you guys how much I love it. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, make sure to comment below if you want to enter for this giveaway. And yeah, by the way, I hope by showing you what I'm doing with my hair, you kind of understood what I was doing. I'm just curling it, like literally just brushing it as normal and twisting it in all directions. And look, it gave me so much volume. You don't even know how hard it is for me to get volume in my hair. I'm not even joking I was even shocked on the day because this was my first time using it and I was actually going to an event that day so I was just super pleased because the curls and the, the silky shine to my hair stayed in till today which is the next day my hair feels super shiny and soft well it looks shiny I mean <laughs> but as you can see it gave amazing results and I did go and do the other side off camera as you can see look at that guys I literally look like I've been to the hairdresser you know when they do those really nice blowouts, like blow dry kind of thing? It looks like that, literally. So thank you Revlon for holding this giveaway with me. I'm so excited. And yeah, so we're going to jump onto the makeup now after showing my hair. You can see I'm very pleased with it. And um, I've already got my contacts le contact lenses in. These are from Solotica and in the shade Ochre already got my brows done and I have done one eye already so on the other eye I'm starting off with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and just applying this as my eyeshadow base and then I'm going to be grabbing the Coloured Rain Queen of Hearts eyeshadow palette which looks absolutely stunning this was actually given me at a Beauty Bay event and I haven't touched it since I don't even know how I stayed that long for like 
I'm not touching it but I'm just starting off with this pale shade to set my base and then going in with this bright orangey shade into my crease and I cannot I kid you not like these shades blended like a dream they were really really easy to work with and I also went in with this lighter brown shade in the corner and the crease as well just to tone down the orange a little bit and then I went in with this darker brown in the palette and I used this in the outer corner and a bit in the crease as well just to make it look a bit more smoky I've re been really into like smoky eye looks lately I don't know why and then after that I did go in with this super pretty bronzy coppery shade and I used some of my Kat Von D locket setting spray on a flat brush and sprayed it spritz it i mean and then i apply this straight to my lid all over the mobile lid to the brown that we kind of smudge on the outer corner i also did go in and curl my lashes and then for mascara today i'm using the big shot colossal mascara by maybelline this mascara is actually really really good the only downside to it is that it kind of transfers on my under eyes because of my lower lashes but I don't I just pop like a bit of waterproof mascara on top of it on my lower lashes but I did apply a ton of that and I also applied some Smashbox primerizer all over my face and then my favorite combination of all time is the Smashbox primerizer and then the Fenty Beauty primer is so good together the Smashbox one gives me hydration but then the uh, Fenty Beauty one gives me like a matte finish so it doesn't make me look oily or greasy throughout the day so I applied those two and then I went in with this Bobbi Brown glow stick in Island Girl or Island I think I don't know what it's called but just applied this all over my base face oh my god guys what the hell's wrong with me <laughs> but anyways I'm not gonna cut that out um yeah so I just blended it all in on, on my face it's just gonna give my foundation a nice glow and then I'm applying my Fenty Beauty foundation in 330. This is like my favorite foundation at the moment. I'm not even joking, guys. This foundation is so, so good. It just makes my skin look flawless, but not cakey. And it stays on. The thing that I love about this is that it doesn't give me smile lines and it stays on so well for hours. It does not fade. It does not crack. It does not separate. It doesn't do any of that on my face. I love this foundation. I definitely recommend you guys going in store in Harvey Nichols in London and trying it out because it's so good. And then here I'm just using some Tarte Shape Tape in Tan San again under my eyes and just blending that out with my Real Techniques sponge which is damp. After that I did go in with some of my Fenty Beauty matchsticks which I have been using every day lately. I go in with um, wheat under my eyes on the bridge of my nose and my forehead to highlight. I do not use this right close to my lash line by the way, just under my eye area. I also go under my contour area as well. And then I'm using suede to kind of contour slash bronze and I apply this on my cheeks and all on, all on my like hairline and the sides of my nose to contour my nose i have been contouring my nose actually lately I, I find it easier with these matchsticks and i also did a bit on my jawline and then i went over suede with a bit of espresso espresso is much darker but it gives that more intense contoured look which i really really like at the moment and then after that i just go in with my damp real techniques sponge and i use one side to blend the darker areas so like the contoured bits and then i use the other side of the sponge to blend the highlighted areas they blend like so easily so quickly and they stay really nicely on the skin i can't even rave enough about these matchsticks they're so good and then after blending all of that away i did use some rcma powder the no color powder which is actually really good there's no flashback and it doesn't give me a white cast and it just brushes off really easily and it makes sure that my concealer doesn't crease or my smile lines crease it's actually really good so yeah i'm just setting my under eyes and my smile lines and i also brush any of the excess on my face just to set that in place after that i'm just grabbing some bobby brown bronzer to set my contour as well and kind of make it a bit more defined and chiseled i really like a strong bronze contoured look at the moment and i'm using this the balm balm springs blush on my cheeks on the apple of my cheeks 
my hair's getting in the way all the time. And then here I'm using the Jouer highlighter in Skinny Dip. Skinny Dip. Gosh. But this highlighter is so, so pretty. I kid you not. It's like so wet looking and golden. I love it so much. So I'm just applying this on my cheekbones, my bridge of the nose and my temples. Basically my whole face, you could say. And I also went in with this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is a bit light for me, but I like to just use a really tiny bit and pop that on the highest, highest points of my face. Just a little bit to intensify the highlighter. And also I like to highlight my inner corners. It's like the best thing ever for inner corners. I did go back on my lower lashes, my lower lash line, I mean, um, with some of the colours we used in the crease from the Coloured Rain palette. I just mixed them all together and just smudged my lash line and used the darkest darkest brown closer to my lash line and then I went in with the same mascara on my lower lashes as well and put a bunch on. For my lips I am using this NYX um, lip pencil, I'm not too sure about the shade right now but I will link everything with all the shades and everything in the info box as always. And then I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte liquid lipstick on my lips. This is one of my favourite liquid lipstick formulas because it literally stays on most of the day without me having to reapply it so that's a huge thumbs up for me i really really recommend this it's super affordable as well and this color is just stunning and i will write the shade in the info box as well and then the final touch up was a bit of setting spray the kat von d one all over my face oh wait this is the final touch up i did use some of the lee stafford argan oil on my hair on the ends this oil smells amazing and it also gives a nice shine to my hair as well so i definitely recommend it but that's the end of this get ready with me guys i hope you really enjoyed it and please 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 get this video to let's say 600 likes let's say please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new i love you guys so so much and make sure to enter the giveaway via the comments and i'll see you in my next video bye